환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Demonic Wolf, and today we're facing off against J Corp. So, with that, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey, is it really okay for us to just barge in like this? Cut the crap and get down to business. What a bore. Okay, let me see what kind of problem our dear partner has ran into. Didn't expect that even W Corp with their hundreds of secrets could leak their singularity. The situation is really, really bad. For us, however, it is just about the opposite. According to the surveillance, the missing cleanup agents all ended up in the library, where the book of W Corp seems to be located. The library that was recently just raised to a star of the city? Correct, and it appears to be no coincidence that its appearance was accompanied by the White Nights and Dark Days. It also just happened to be located right within the center of Elcorp's misty nest. And it is also somehow strongly tied to the distortion phenomenon. But I think we still underestimated it. What do you mean? I don't think it's necessary to explain what's going on. You see what's in my hand, right? An invitation to the library. And is that the book of W Corp listed in it? The library didn't claim so many victims without a reason. However, the book of W Corp is not a high priority for us. The project will continue with or without it. But how on earth did this invitation appear? Why are the books listed so coincidental? I'm fairly certain we're not under the influence of any singularity. I sensed a familiar sensation the moment the invitation appeared but the time of its appearance was too sudden to parse for the moment. I am quite concerned about this power. Perhaps it can act as a key. It seems necessary to explore the library. Perhaps it is the possibility we have been looking for. Although we already know that the recent distortion phenomenon in the city is strongly connected to the library, this is my first time to witness the power of the library so close. Perhaps we really overlooked its capabilities. I will immediately begin researching for more information regarding the distortion phenomenon and analyzing the library in the process. Unfortunately, Clifford has just recently taken his squad to clean up most of the distortions in the nest. However, as far as I know, the fixers of some offices such as the Wound Office and Dream Office have also fallen victim to the phenomenon recently, but for reasons unknown, the original location of the Dream Office is in ruins. I will look into the matter and visit personally. Arrange for Clifford and his team to go to the library. Won't you go to the library in person? It's not my style to put myself in danger. Alas, it's all done. What's up with all these distortions happening lately? Manpower is almost running out too. Ha! <sighs> when will I finally be able to go on a vacation? Since the Hannah Association has not yet intervened, it means that the situation is still under control. Roy, when did you get here? Today's mission has just ended, so I stopped by to see you. You look tired. Are all those distortions that hard to deal with? The strength of these distortions don't amount to much. The strongest one we fought was only an urban nightmare, but most are only urban legends. But the strange abilities of those things really made me see that they completely disobey the laws of the real world. The method in which they fight back is really abstract, and they cannot be destroyed just by conventional means. These indescribable features really reminded me of the Dream Cube, but that was more than a decade ago. This may sound really weird, but according to the existing information we have, the source of the distortions all points to the newly promoted star of the city, the library in Elcorp's nest. I've heard that W Corp's agents have fallen in the library. Even the wings can't solve the problem. It was really stupid that W Corp sent their cleanup agents to take down a star of the city. I'd be surprised if this didn't happen, and I don't know what happened to force W Corp's hand to make such a decision. However, the library should have just been promoted to a star of the city, which means that it was still only an urban nightmare at that time, which would explain why W Corp made such a rookie mistake. In short, now that the news concerning W Corp's singularity has leaked, the city is about to stir up a new storm. 
just received a notification from above, guess they're assigning you and your team to the library to retrieve the Book of W Corp. The higher-ups act and think fast. Is this all to start a patent war? And wouldn't it be better if you were to go on this mission? As you know, our interlocker division has its own mission and must keep the casinos and other surrounding facilities up and running. Alright, alright. Looks like I have to work overtime again. Proceed with caution. It is rumored that the library can use the power of the fallen guests, which is very strange. It's not like you to say that. Don't worry, I've handled several commissions regarding Stars of the City. I am no rookie when it comes to handling Singularity equipment. I have completed 100 consecutive missions without a single miss. The most popular squad leader, the first in annual performance, and the first in tactical assessment, right? I can memorize it all. <clears throat> How about having a drink together after I get back from this mission? At the same old place, you know. Once you return from this mission, I can suggest to the higher-ups to give you a promotion. But don't die, Clifford. So, after W Corp and R Corp, is J Corp coming to the library too? J Corp, I remember that Emma and Noah, who we received earlier, worked in one of the casinos opened in their nest. According to their books, the singularity of J Corp is lock? The ability to lock and seal anything that is conceptually open and exposed is a very quirky singularity indeed. When I was a fixer, I once met a guy who had his brain locked up. I couldn't get any valuable information from him, so I couldn't finish the commission. I wonder what would happen if F Corp's Ferry met J Corp's Lock. Well, these two types of singularity products that you can buy on the market each have different ranges and strengths and effects. Depending on the price, what's more, after reading the truth about the warp train, I don't believe that the nature of these things is the same as the descriptions we see. That's true, but why would J Corp, who has mastered this technology, choose to open a casino business? The fields of application this technology offers should be much more than that. I'm not sure about that. J Corp has always been rather secretive thanks to their singularity. It's quite difficult to obtain anything juicy about them. This is my first time hearing about their team of sealers too. But I think that the wings of the world should have their own considerations which may be related to the true nature of their singularity. If our misdirector is really so interested, she will find out when she looks through their books. It seems that J Corp has already been aware of the leak of W Corp singularity, and it would seem that they're planning to take action against W Corp. It should just be an ordinary patent war something that is all too common in the city. So, this is the library. Dangers lurk hidden beneath its grand appearance, truly worthy of being called a star of the city. Welcome, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Miss Angela, I have been ordered to collect the book of W Corp listed in the invitation. Is something the matter? The invitation should have made it clear that if you fail here, you will become a book. Is the company's order worth risking your own life? If you die here, that friend of yours will be very sad. In the city, only the truly strong have the right to choose, and I have no choice. If I want to break free from the chains of the city, all I can do is to overcome these trials and become stronger. If I die here, it would only mean that I wasn't strong enough, that's all. In this city, does freedom really exist? As long as you remain in the city, you will find yourself being bound by invisible chains, and it is far from easy to break yourself free. May I enter now, please? May you find your book in this place. Alright guys, here we go against J Corp, but I do want to say it looks like we are not facing off against the head honcho yet. So let's go ahead and go over the sealers of J Corp's nest. So, a sealer's page, 100 HP, 55 stagger resist, 2 to 6 on the dice rolls. HP resistances are normal for slash and crush, endured for stab. Stagger resistances are normal for slash and stab, endured for crush. Moving over to the passive abilities, we have ranged, can use ranged combat pages. Entrapment Device. If target has a status ailment, offensive dice gain plus one power. J Corp's Tactical Set. On a successful hit, recover one stagger resist and one mental barrier. 
gain 10 mental barrier at the start of the act. Emergency locking. While staggered, take 5 less damage. Fully equipped 1. All pages have 10 stored energy at the start of the act. Enhanced reload. Reload dice power plus 1. And that's all the passive abilities. Moving over to the shelf, we have Impenetrable. Combat start. Copy dice from this page to counter cube. On Clash Win, activate this page's combat start ability again. On hit, gain 8 mental barrier. Mental barrier. Negate X stagger damage taken. That's actually really good. Total lockdown. Energy transfer random page in hand. On Clash Reload, 6 lock the opponent's current die. Reload 3. Gain 2 power. Energy transfer. Reload ability adds stored energy to other specific pages instead of this page. Cannot add to other energy transfer pages. Reload. Activate this effect by spending X stagger resist and convert it to stored energy. Cannot be activated if character does not have enough stagger resist. Lock dice. Lock dice cannot be affected by roll value changes and power gain or loss. Covert Assault. On you, stored energy 10 of 20, boost max value of all dice on this page by 4 of 10. On hit, reload 4, deal 4 bonus damage. On hit, reload 4, deal 4 bonus stagger damage. Desperate Fight. On use, draw 1 page. If rarity of drawn page is limited object the art, gain 4 of 8 mental barrier. On hit, inflict 1 fragile next scene. Prepare Blockade. On you, store energy 10, restore 2 light. On reload 5, restore 1 light. On hit, inflict 1 bind next scene. And that concludes all the information on the first act of J-Corp. Now we're gonna go ahead and use Malkuth's team because I think they'll this will be a good one. All right, let's see what's going on. So obviously they're not gonna take any stagger damage. Zero stagger damage whatsoever. Ow, fuck. We are not rolling good. There we go, there's a good one. We're actually taking some heavy dagger damage already. There's a lot of ranged pages going out. Ow. Oh my god, the damage. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. These fucking rolls, man. They are fucking us. Ah! Jesus! Okay. She's dead. Myra's dead. Malkuth may be dead. Bye, Myra. Holy shit. Oh, no. She's still alive. Boom. Hit them all. Uh, dude, we are not rolling. We are not rolling good. Okay, he staggered. That helps us out a lot. So he's pretty much dead. Okay. God, dude, what is this? Oh my god. Ah, oh, staggered. That's not good. Okay, so this definitely is not too much. We are actually having issues here. Um, what the fuck, bro? Holy shit. Hey, okay, that's two of them. I think, right? No, that's three of them. Three of them are dead now. Good. Holy shit. We can start the next one off pretty goddamn strong, though. Nice. She actually blocked it. That's like the first ones we actually got to block. Holy shit. Oh my god. We took so much damage. And that's that's just the first fight. We got one more. Oh dear God. Clifford. Oh shit. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna rock us. At least we have a we have a spare. We got a spare dude back there. One some. Okay. 
Clifford's Page, 210 HP, 120 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. HP resistances are normal for slash and crush, endured for stab. Stagger resistances are normal for slash and stab, endured for crush. Moving over to the passive abilities, we have Tactical Lens. Reload dice power plus 1. Gain 1 additional stored energy from reload abilities. Spend 1 less stagger resistance for reload abilities. And we got Entrapment Device, Self-Locking. While staggered, this character's resistances are changed to normal instead of fatal. Fully Equipped 2. All pages have 10 stored energy at the start of the act. Starts the battle at Emotion Level 1. Enhanced Reload. Reload Dice Power plus 1. Entrap and Detain. Pre-Install. Any reload effect adds stored energy to this page too on you stored energy 50 all dice on this page gain 10 power and lock target next scene on clash win destroy all opponents dice lock target locked target cannot act and becomes untargetable not considered as staggered or status ailment and the elite sealers are the same and i'm just gonna say i know some of you guys are asking me why i read the same passive abilities over again is because i want you to know if you ever take this on he has the same ones so with that let's go ahead and see if malkuth can kill clifford the project seems to be a little off but it still came in so this is the interior of the library sure enough the space here feels really different no wonder the anchor point connected to Clifford's body has weakened. Well, it's time for me to enter. What? Wait. That's new projection slash anchor point. Starting with the fifth scene uses a special page. Retreat if Clifford died. Every five scenes, I'm guessing a massimation. So what I'm hearing is Clifford needs to die. Gotcha. Understand. Let's kill him. Okay. So Malkuth is good because she will automatically get... Oh, she's got six strength right now. But she will always get, I think, two strength because of clashes. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah. You dick. Oh, you gotta be an ass. Dude, these guys actually really do hurt, though. That burn. He's gonna be hurting. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. God damn, we fucked him up. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we only hit two of them. But that's okay. Ow. 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 Bullets hurt. Malkuth is at 12 HP. She might die. That's 40 burn right there. Oh, no. oh he's dead. <laughs> God damn, dude, that hurts. Only hit him, but that's okay. He's staggered and he's gonna die from burn. And I think, are we are we on fourth right now? Yeah, he's he's dead. He's not gonna live. What? Wait, what the? Wait a. What just happened? Okay, I think we win. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yep. Okay, so we only won because of Massimations. That is the only... Or, yeah, Massimations, and also, that was a very close fight. I almost lost that because I'm stupid. I think people have realized I'm pretty fucking stupid. I went completely against what you're supposed to do against these guys don't use status ailment people just attack them raw go in raw to be honest their combat effectiveness was a bit out of my expectations the way they fought is not quite what i imagined too 
The weapons in their hands seem to be able to store mental energy and release it in a burst when needed. The way they fight reminds me of our corpse reindeers, and that mental barrier, no matter how you look at it, it has to be a product of M Corp's singularity. But you still did a great job with the reception, didn't you? Yeah, but what the hell was that projection that appeared at the end? How the hell did he get in? I'm not really sure. Maybe it has something to do with the singularity. Those two mysterious figures from earlier have really grabbed my attention. But J Corp Singularity is clearly the lock. You said it yourself. Singularities are often not as simple as they seem to be. As for the differences in how each of them fight, R Corp also makes use of W Corp's charging system. I think it's all due to some kind of partnership between the wings. I have a feeling that J Corp won't just let this slide so easily. Those two figures back then mentioned the library as a possibility they were looking for. It doesn't matter, just treat them as guests normally. Maybe we will soon be able to find out the truth behind J-Corp's singularity. Speaking of which, I think I've seen that woman with the black hair somewhere before. What, are there people who you don't know? It was quite a long time ago, and I can't really recall it right now. Alright guys, so that is the first part of the J-Corp mod. Now we're gonna go ahead and burn those books, and I will read the statistics on said books. All right, let's see if we get Clifford's book. There it is. So we got all their pages. We got, we just got everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over this. All right, guys, so it's time to jump in to the statistics of the key pages. So starting off with Clifford's page, 105 HP, 58 stagger resist, two to seven on the dice rolls. HP resistances are normal for slash and crush, endured for stab. Stagger resistances are normal for slash and stab, endured for crush. Passive abilities are Tactical Lens, Reload Dice Power plus one, gain one additional stored energy from reload abilities. Spend one less stagger resistance for reload abilities. Entrapment Device, if target has a status ailment, offensive dice gain plus one power. J Corp's Tactical Set, on a successful hit, recover one stagger resist and gain one mental barrier. Gain 10 mental barrier at the start of the act. Emergency locking. While staggered, take five less damage. And moving over to his pages, we have total lockdown, energy transfer, random page in hand. On clash reload, six lock, the opponent's current die. Reload three, gain two power, impenetrable. Combat start, copy dice from this page to counter Q. On clash win, activate this page's combat start ability again. On hit, gain 8 mental barrier. All right. And that's all of Clifford's. Now let's move over and see if there's anything different. So there seems to be nothing really different from the Sealer's page, except for missing a lot. Entrapment Device and J Corp's Tactical Set are the only things that they have. So nothing too crazy. But with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dumb Monic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am... Out.